Uh, hello again. Today I'm going to show you how to um, make the content of variables that you put into your Smart Sparrow lesson appear as text in the lesson. So I'm just going to give you a quick demo of what I mean. So here's an example here. Um, I've got a quiz question and um, I'm going to answer the question. All right, and here is the second quiz question. All right, now you can see with these I've, I've answered the correct answer for both of these and you can see that the score is actually showing up here but it's not very obvious and you might want to show the score on the screen itself. So now that I've answered these questions, let's see what happens here. So what I've done is I've actually shown the variable with the score in it in the main part of the screen so it's nice and obvious. All right, so now I'm going to show you how I did that. So first of all, you want to set up your uh, your quiz questions as you would normally do. Um, and then when you want to have a screen that has a variable in it, um, this is what it looks like. So this is text um, in a text box. And then under here is the variable that I've picked out um, from the options for editing a text box. Um, so I'm just going to show you how that's done. So I've actually created another one here so you can have a look at. So this one, I've got a text box for the score. So I'm just going to add the score in here now. So when I click on my text box, um, I'm then able to edit it. And what you need to do is click on this little um, target uh, icon. So when you click on that, it actually shows up all the variables in your Smart Sparrow lesson that you can use. Um, and it defaults to the current screen. Um, so in this case, this is for the session itself. So we can go in here and choose the score for the total of this Smart Sparrow lesson. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, and it's appearing down here. Okay, so you can do formatting if you want to. So I'm just going to bold that. Um, and I might center it. And I think I'm just going to bring it up as well because it's a bit low. Okay, that's good. And I think also I'm just going to adjust the font. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm going to change the color while I'm here. Great, okay, so now my score should appear in blue just here. And underneath, I'm just going to show you another one that I've done. So this one is where I'm actually picking up some text from a text entry box earlier in the tutorial. I'll just show you what I did with that one. So here I've got a text entry box, and so whatever text I put in here, I can actually display here on this second page. Um, and the way I did that, again, was to edit the text box. Okay, so I've just put my cursor where I want that variable to go, and then I go up to this little target, and I can pick variables out. Now for this one, I'm actually looking for a variable that's not on this screen. So I'm going to choose a different screen and here we go, that's the one I want to get the information from. And down here, this is where that text input was. So when I click on that, I'm not going to do it for this one, I'll just cancel for now. What you'll see is this code. Okay, so I've added the code and there's, I've just put an exclamation point at the end. And then you can format it however you like as well. Okay, so that's all set up. So um, let's see how that works. So I'm going to preview from, so just going back to my first screen. So I'm going to answer these questions. Correct. Here we go. Second question. All right, so that's my initial score page um, with the variable here. So let's move on to the next one. All right, so this is my text entry box. Okay, so that's in there. And now let's see the final score page. All right, so we've got our score here. So that's the variable. And then this is the one where we've got the text in there. So it looks like I might need to take out a space or two to get that flowing nicely, but you can see the effect there.